वेलकम टू डेंटल नोट्स एंड एमोनेक्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ स्मॉल बट इनक्रेडिबली सिग्निफिकेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट यू हैव प्रोबेबली सीन इन डेंटल एक्सरे द लमाइना ड्यूरा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील स्टार्ट विद द एल्वलो प्रोसेस फर्स्ट एल्वलो प्रोसेस इज डिफाइंड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ मैगजिला एंड द मैंडिबल दैट फॉर्म्स इन सपोर्ट द सॉकेट्स ऑफ द टीथ The alveolar bone or alveolar process it can be divided into three main components based on its structure and function. Number one is alveolar bone proper, which is also known as a bundle bone. Second division is supporting alveolar bone, which is made up of cortical bone and the cancellous bone. And the third division is the basal bone, uh, which is a part of the jaw bone that lies beneath the alveolar process. It does not support uh, the teeth directly. However, it forms the foundation for the alveolar process. Three divisions: uh, alveolar bone proper is composed of dense cortical bone, and it is present as a thin lamella of bone surrounding the root. It lines the alveolar socket, and its function is to provide stability and attachment for the teeth by anchoring periodontal ligament fibers. Periodontal ligament fibers are located between the bone and the cementum of the tooth, and it is connected by the tough fibers called Sharpe's fiber. Alveolar bone proper is made up of two distinct but complementary types of bone: lamellated bone and the bundle bone. Lamellated bone uh, is compact bone, is dense and organized into layers, provides structural strength to the alveolar socket. It is not directly involved in the tooth attachment, but uh, serves to support the overall uh, structure of the alveolar bone. In contrast, uh, bundle bone is rich in Sharpe's fiber. which are collagen fibers extending from the periodontal ligament into the bone and cring the tooth securely in the socket unlike lamellated bone bundle bone is dynamic and actively remodels in response to mechanical forces like chewing or tooth movement while lamellated bone ensures the overall stability and rigidity of the alveolar bone bundle bone plays a crucial role in direct attachment of the tooth Within the alveolar bone proper the cribriform plate refers to the perforated area of bundle bone that contains tiny openings for uh, blood vessels and nerve endings uh, giving it cribriform appearance under the microscope uh, this is where the sharpe's fiber insert and helping to anchor the periodontal ligament fibers to the bone and radiographically the lamina dura refers to the dense radiopaque lines seen uh, surrounding the tooth line which represents the bundle bone it is a part of the cribriform plate and uh, for, provides a strong interface between the tooth and the alveolar bone functions of the lamina dura is to provide a stable foundation for the attachment of periodontal ligament securing the tooth it also shields the tooth roots and surrounding bone from the external forces during chewing lamina dura is also a diagnostic tool for uh, which helps us to assess the periodontal health Let's discuss the radiographic appearance of lamina dura. Lamina dura is a thin radiopaque line that lines the tooth root representing the dense cortical bone lining the socket. In a healthy tooth this appears uh, intact, continuous and well defined. It is seen adjacent to the periodontal ligament uh, which appears as a dark or radiolucent line. However, certain pathologies can alter the appearance of lamina dura. However, normal variations in lamina dura may be due to the anatomical variations, age-related changes, tooth function, occlusal load, or physiological remodeling. In the anatomical variations, the thickness and the density of lamina dura can differ between the individuals, even between the teeth in the same person. Posterior teeth often shows thicker lamina dura than the anterior teeth due to difference in the occlusal forces. In the young individuals the lamina dura tends to be more prominent due to active bone uh, turnover and in with aging it may become uh, thinner or less distinct due to reduced bone density or periodontal changes teeth which are subjected to higher occlusal loads such as molars may show a thicker lamina dura as a response to increased stress non functional or missing teeth can show a reduced or absent lamina dura due to lack of any stimulation Normal bone remodeling process can lead to variation in the lamina dura over the time especially in response to orthodontic tooth movement or the minor trauma from the normal variations 
द अपेरेंस ऑफ द लेमाइना ड्यूरा ऑन द डेंटल रेडियोग्राफ कैन इंडिकेट अंडरलाइंग पैथोलॉजी वेन इट इज डिविएटेड फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल प्रेजेंटेशन सच इज कंटिन्यूअस और रेडियो पेक लाइन इट मे शो थिनिंग और लॉस ऑफ लेमाइना ड्यूरा विच मे बी ड्यू टू पेरेडोंटल डिजीजेज ऑस्टियोपरासिस and hyperparathyroidism in case of hyperparathyroidism there is increased bone resorption due to hormonal imbalance which results in a poorly defined lamina dura and uh, a thinned or lo lost lamina dura indicates a compromised bone health and may correlate with the tooth mobility or systemic conditions second uh, condition is uh, the lamina dura is thickened In case of uh, uh, lamina dura, when it is thickened, it uh, may be due to increased uh, occlusal load because excessive biting forces stimulates the bone deposition, thickening the lamina dura. Also, in case of sclerotic conditions like Paget's disease, uh, which may affect the density of the lamina dura, and uh, thickening of the lamina dura suggests an adaptive response to stress or underlying systemic bone conditions. the lamina dura may be interrupted or it may be appear as irregular in the x-ray peripical infections uh, including the abscesses or uh, granulomas can lead to focal loss or irregularity of the lamina dura sometimes the lamina dura may be totally absent lesions like uh, peripical cyst odontogenic tumor or metastatic tumor may erode the lamina dura also bone replacement with fibrous tissue leads to the loss of the lamina dura as it happens in the fibrous dysplasia absence of the lamina dura indicates a significant bone alteration often requiring further investigations increased thickness and the hyperdensity of the lamina dura may seem to be similar but they are having the differences increased thickness refers to the wider lamina dura while hyperdensity indicates increased radio opacity without necessarily altering the width of the lamina dura hyperdensity appears brighter on the radiographs increased thickness means normal radio opacity cause of the increased uh, thickness often results from the adaptive responses like occlusal stresses hyperdensity uh, is typically due to chronic irritation or uh, systemic conditions the thickened lamina dura shows a uniform continuous outline hyperdensity may appear patchy or irregular hyperdensity is more commonly associated with the systemic disorders or the chronic inflammation regarding the clinical implications increased thickness is often benign and hyperdensity may signal underlying disease for example increased thickness occurs in the sclerotic osteitis and hyperdensity appears in paget's disease or osteopetrosis thickened lamina dura retains its smooth border hyperdensity may disrupt the normal architecture hyperdense lamina dura uh, may occur due to idiopathic sclerosis which is a localized bone hardening or due to the chronic inflammation which may cause the sclerosis if there is hyperdense lamina dura it reflects chronic stress or localized adaptive responses hyperdensity is often points to systemic bone changes so it uh, warrants deeper investigation while on the other hand increased thickness is usually localized and may not need further intervention Demographic changes in the lamina dura should always be interpreted in conjunction with clinical findings to accurately diagnose the underlying conditions. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more topics in dentistry and oral health. Feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, take care. Bye bye. keep learning